Women in sport. Let's break it down together. Women. What do you associate with women? Mothers, grandmothers, aunties, nieces. The list could go on. In fact, half of the world's population are women. In. The word in shows belonging. It shows being a part of and within. At home, we belong to our families. We belong to our friendship groups. We belong to our clubs, teams and activities. Everybody belongs to things. And sport. Well, sport shows strength. It shows pace, speed, ability. Sport shows happiness within people and within their peers. But for too long, sport has shown off men. And slowly but surely, we are changing that. Let's take it right back to the beginning. In 776 BC, the first Olympic Games and the first formal competition for amateur sports men. But men, the ancient Greeks introduced these games for men to show off their muscles and for men to show off their talents, while women had to simply sit back and admire what they saw. For centuries, the physical power, athleticism and skill lay dormant within women, waiting and watching. As time progressed, and habits, societies and cultures developed, so did women. So did the voices of women who felt that they should be sitting in a vacant seat within the sporting world. All women felt was a continuous battle and a constant struggle to show the world their physical power, their athleticism and their skill. As time progressed and habits, societies and cultures developed, so did women. Consider Billie Jean King. Billie Jean King was a successful tennis player who used her determination to strive for success. She played against a man named Bobby Riggs, a man who claimed he could be any woman, whether it be on clay, grass, cement, marble, or even whilst wearing roller skates in a tennis game. Billie Jean King beat Bobby Riggs. She changed the world for women. She was the catalyst for the success of women all around the world who were finally able to blossom into the sportswomen that they are. She changed the world for women. And now, take a look at Victoria Azarenka and Jamie Murray. A man and a woman, a girl and a boy using each other's talents to multiply their own rather than constantly competing against one another to say who's best. Because for too long, people have used sport to divide, to distinguish and to discriminate. And now we can see that everybody belongs in sport.